Let's take a look at one way that you can respond to interface signals in XTML. In this example, we'll focus on the tracking component, which has a satisfaction using the UI interface with the UI component. The UI component will send signals through the satisfaction to the tracking component. If we look at the tracking package diagram, we can see the implementation of this component and the classes that make it up. If we look at the display class, we will see a class-based state machine. Class-based state machines, unlike instance-based state machines, can accept signals as events. To do so, you can right-click on any transition within a class-based state machine and choose the assigned signal option. You can then choose the interface that you'd like to have a signal responded for and then choose that signal. In this class-based state machine, we respond to the UI interface mode press signal and we do it across many transitions. Anytime a signal is sent to the tracking component that is UI mode press, this class-based state machine will accept it. So if we were in the display distance state and we received that signal from the UI component, we transition into the display speed state. Signal transitions can also have OAL. In this example, when the transition is called, we simply select a singleton display and then set its current mode to speed as we are transitioning from distance to speed. Upon completion of the transition, the display speed state would then have its OAL executed.